Hello, in this video we are going to look at the particle object. Just a quick overview of what a particle is. It allows you to display a bunch of little sprites in an animation to create certain phenomena, such, such as fireworks, explosions, clouds, dust, um, collisions. If you play the game called Glow Hockey, really cool game check it out it's completely free and you got a bunch of sparks going off when the ball hits the side so that's basically what a particle is and at the moment coco studio supports dot p list particles there's a free website that you can use to create particles there are, there's several websites there's several tools to use whichever one you want the one i'm just going to use for the purpose of this tutorial is particle2dx.com and so what we're going to do so let this load up and on here it's pretty cool just change the duration of the particle change the lifetime mission rate speed and all that other stuff but again i'm not showing you how to create a particle i'm just showing you how to use particles within coco studio so what you can also do is change the sort of screen or type resolution so you can see how it looks and do a custom one but again i'm not really showing you this toy it's more just what it is so let's leave it there and let's click the export button particle underscore texture i'm happy with that name and i just want to do png contained so we've got the p dot p list inside and if we were to do the 2dx1 plus particle underscore texture dot png what that basically means is you're going to be adding the dot png separately but we don't want that actually we'll open up the different files I want to just open that into the folder. Let's just open with more apps. Scroll down, notepad. Yes, I'm using this regular raw notepad. The amount of code in here, in comparison to the other one, will be less. So if we just open this with notepad as well. So if we were to go back in here we got a lot more information because we got information about the image as well if there is an image so we can just leave that as it is and we are going to go back to coca studio we are going to open up our scene scroll out a bit and what we're going to do is drag on a particle from here so let's drag that on and by default you actually get a particle which is which looks pretty cool so if we just scroll down and we got some options we can do play stop so you can stop the particle and then you can obviously just play it again if you want to see what it looks like and then it shows you what file it's using this is just one but built in and you can reset it you can select click this and you open up a dialogue and you can select an external file and there's different rendering modes so for SRC and DST generally only use this if you know what you're doing there's normal and additive as well so we're just going to click portal file I mean particle file not portal go to desktop did I not download it oh, I didn't download sorry so and just select my particle click open and what it does if it's not already added to the project it actually imports it as well which is pretty cool so now we can drag around this particle and yeah that is literally it for particles in coco studio and obviously if i wanted to make this stop click the stop button it stopped if i click the play button it plays again so if i were to let's say click reset i can obviously just have the particle here i can drag it on didn't drag on sorry my bad I need to just drag it over and I can just drag it on here not there I meant to put it here and if I drop it it actually switches the particle over so that's pretty cool as well so that's it to do with particles if I were to just click play a moment just let that launch and as you can see the particle is now running in our little window so that's it it's that simple to use particles in Cocos Studio. We haven't showed you the code of actually using particles inside code because it's different, different for Cocos 2DX and 
Hercos 2D JS. We're going to supply you with a link in the description to our Cocos API guide, which will show you the code for the respective versions, and you can implement that yourself. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.